customers to see themselves in the future starts on the page, starts filtering, she starts showing how well, and this is just a Guys, this is David. So I can't see your chat here. Um, so um, we're live here in, in Libertyville. And we're going to be doing this scene of the night scene. And look at how terrible that is. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, I think that's as good as we're going to get, guys. And so... Um, we're gonna do this night night scene, and it's funny that it's a horse scene, and so um, it's it's live here at the art show that we have in Libertyville, Illinois. So if you're around Libertyville, come on by, guys. Hope you can hear me. Um, I can't see the chat, so I'm not sure. You can hold that one second. Let's see if I can put the chat in. Yep. Right now, <laughs> right now, let me just see if I can put this down a little bit. So I see if there's anybody. Hey, hey, Pat, I'll put it like this. And so we're going to start out with our lights. And this is a AI made up scene. Um, artificial intelligence made this scene up for me. I had um, went into Photoshop and asked him to make me a horse and a knight. And, and so um, now I'll paint it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the lights. And actually, let me just show you one thing. So there's a lot of um, pencil lines on this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knee rubber eraser and I'm going to roll it on top of the board here so I can get some of the pencil lines away. And that way it gives the graphite away. And so what, it, what it's doing is it making it's making my my need a rubber eraser dirty but it's taking away the the pencil lines and let's see how many got a few people watching thanks guys for dropping by here on this saturday after or sunday afternoon <laughs> sunday it is is it noon time yeah 12 30 so afternoon so we're going to start out with the background and we are going to make the background our cool colors. And we have some people coming, came through already. I think we have a few sales already. If you're in the area, please stop on by. Here I'm putting in, I'm just putting in some of the, the background blues. I'm working on a board, on a watercolor board. You did it. It's supposed to show up there. Yeah. That must not be, it must be frozen or something. Huh. It should be showing up there. <laughs> not sure why it's not showing. Hmm. That's weird. Just watch over your shoulder. Yep. <laughs> oh, I see. That's why. Okay, here we go. What was it? Right there, now you can see. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Now we're going to go in here and get our warm to cool. This is the worms now as they're coming forward. It's cool back here, way back here. It's cool. I'm going to leave a little bit of white of the paper also. Um, this is all down here. It's all kind of warm. Like it's like a little warmness to it. Even in here, so I got. I'm gonna rub this a little bit, and get some more warmth in that area. So we're gonna go down through here, just make it a little bit warmer. And I normally do a night scene, meaning night at night, but uh, this is the night scene as the as the horse at night. <laughs> As a knight in shining armor. 
And so the horse is going to be dark. And so I can just, I can go up to him or if I go into him a little bit, that's okay because he'll be darker. So I'm just going to, I'm working the background. If you do have questions, please ask away. I'll look up every once in a while, look in, on the screen and see if I can, if you ask a question. Make this a little bit warmer here. Making it a little bit darker as I come forward. And working big areas like I always do. And I did put a tablecloth down or um, a towel down for, so I don't have to use paper towel. I like to work with the, the towel on my on my board. So I'm letting this whole area here so I can just get a nice warmth in there. I'll do the dark parts later, the super dark parts. We can make this a little bit redder right now. And again, this is a board that I'm working on. It's a watercolor board, crescent watercolor board. Um, I, I'm really liking these boards lately because again, I would just wax it when I'm done and just frame it. And actually I got a frame for it that I'm gonna show you how to put it right in there when I'm done. So let's make this a little bit darker through here. All right, so there we have the background. We're going to make, keep it nice and um, fluid. We don't want to really see much back there because we want, we want to do more of the scene down here. It's a bit warmer. What's that for the cookies? <laughs> One of my students came in with, and she brought a bunch of cookies with for the show, for the art show. Again, if you're in the area, stop on by. We have a great art show here with a bunch of artists showing their work. This is, a, yeah, we're gonna put the, I'm putting on my little red signs and such. This is gonna be darker here, but I'm just putting like the middle tones in right now, the big middle tones, and the darks will then grab shapes out of there. To get some shapes, make let's get some shapes out of the, this area. This area is really dark, so I have to wait for that. So I'm like right now, I'm getting my lights and middle tones. And there's not many lights. The lights are back here, but all this is all dark around here. So now we're just gonna. All right. So let's go through here. Let's wet this area now because this is like a middle tone and a dark. We're going to try to get this right away done. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go in here and try to get this part done. I'm not going to try to go back in later. And there's a bunch of people in the streets. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Pat. Again, this, the, the horse is dark, so I can go right over this area because it's going to be darker later. Just going through. Once it's wet, now I can go in there and just put some more pigment colors in there. I don't have to actually show inside this wash. As long as you have a few of them looking like the heads and stuff, they automatically look like people. So we're good there. I'd love to right through this guy here. Now there are some rem lighting of some of this people, but what I'll do is I'll do that later with white or I'll go back in and scrub it out because I am working board, so a board. 
It's a little cool on this side here. That's okay. We can put a little bit dark cool. I'll do my middle tone. That'll be like a middle tone dark. I'll go right into this guy. He's going to be darker yet. I'm working kind of back to front. Shadowing. Oh, nice to see you. Oh, he's right your face, huh? So much water for him. He's like, well, we're riding to the front of the beach today. Sure, you off the top of the all right, now let's get this side done. We're going to keep on going through here, get some middle tones. Again, right to the horse because the horse will be darker later, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we're going to go with this really light, get some nice light red right here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a tail or it's supposed to be like. Arena tail. Get in there right away. Now I'll do the background here. Again, this is my middle tone, so not my darks yet. Yeah, exactly. Right here, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to add the rim lighting right away. Here, I'll we'll get some dark in here. You notice I'm not doing a real lot of detail when it comes to the people. You don't really need that right now because it's not about these people on the streets. It's about the, the night. And I'll be a little bit more safe with that. Dark. Shadowing. Cooler back here. Then if you know that the, the subject matter in front, this this the knight and his horse, if you know that's going to be really dark, then you can go right through. You don't have to worry because you can get nice and sharp later on. Now let's do our whole background here. Just wet this area. And this is a large middle tone and a large dark, so I'm just going to go in here, wet it all, and then just get my darkest dark right away. And get it done. Try to hear some people in the background talking because there, there is a show going on right now, an art show here in Libertyville. Libertyville, Illinois, for anybody that's not here in the in, in, in Illinois in Illinois. Here somewhere else. So I'm just putting a lot of darks in here now. Trying to get my dark area done. So a lot of times when you're doing an area that you want not to see so much of it, you, you blur it. And basically that's what I'm doing. I'm just blurring the areas. Meaning I'm trying to get a soft edge, and the way you get that is wet into wet. And then this, this red cloth, like looking like his tail, like it's covering his tail. I'll make him look like he's moving too. So I'm just getting the overall color. The overall color and the darkness of it right now. Just more of a middle tone, and then we'll get darker as we go along. Just a little bit of orange in here. 
I'm covering up to my drawing of the of the building behind there, but we can get that back later. It's gonna be transparent, so we can be able to see that. Here's some more sales going on. That's great. Um, go up and nice dark reds in here. Get the red dark reds in there right away. So I'll be on a smaller brush. Yeah, yeah, just started. Yeah, how to go last night? Well, you see, we've got the scene getting there. Um, we don't have to do detail yet, we're just going to wait for the details. And so that's here we got a little bit of a watermark, and I showed you how to get rid of a watermark last week in my newsletter. So you just tickle it a little bit, re-wet it, and just apply more paint in there. Okay, so here, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to tickle it with a little bit of water. All right. So let's make this part now dark, just like this part. Our bigger darks now, since we're at that stage. If you guys have questions, please let me know. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but hopefully you can. I'm just going to get in here, get these darks, get a little bit of details, but mostly just big darks, just big dark areas. Get some real nice red in here. And you really can't tell what's going on in here, but you really don't need to because it's not your center of interest. So you just play it like it's out of focus, basically, is what you're doing. Some nice colors in there. Floated, I'm floating the pigment in here. This see, I'm just making stuff up here now, like windows and basically your buildings with all kinds of details. But windows basically is what you're thinking windows and signs and awnings, basically, definitely awnings here. There's an awning right there. And then we're going to make this underneath here. I like to make the under parts a little bit more warm. And on this way. Now this guy's gonna be really dark in front here, so I'm just gonna make a little rim lighting around him. And then we're gonna go really dark with this one. Go on here and make this gentleman here, make him almost silhouette shape, not too detailed yet. Bring him down here and so you can see his arm. Down here, make his head a little bit bigger. And I use all different kinds of colors, I don't just use one. In color in particular, I use a bunch of them that I've been using throughout. Let's 
Jesus to the idea of truth and righteousness. And Lord, to the cross, to the name of Jesus Christ, to the all right, getting there little by little. A few more lines here. Here we have a dark, in my picture, we have a dark coming down this way. Yeah, it's just, you, you don't have to explain everything in the picture, as long as it looks like it's supposed to be like buildings, basically. If you get a little bit of that, that's fine. Do the perspective in the building, you know, the perspective on there. Here and there, you can put the, pretend like there's a window in the area. And then even this guy here, we don't want to get him kind of out of focus a little bit. And so we'll just make it dark, get him out of focus a little bit. We don't have to make him look really tight because we don't want him in the corner. So now we're going to go to our detailed, which is our night. And so we're just going to go with a smaller brush and just get a big wash going there. I didn't put any masking fluid down to save my light. So I'm going to go from the left to the right. So we're going to go from the left to the right. And we're just going to take this part to the back. And I'm going to be very sharp, hard edged, so I can get the look of he's coming forward. Take a little bit of red off the back here. That's going to be reflecting into the back. And then he has got a lot of contrast. So I'm going to go in there with some really dark, dark colors, like black even, just to get this really dark and you're getting a little bit more detail because this is your center of interest. This is your main center of interest. And I try to get it done with the one brush stroke. I don't try to think I want to go back in. I just want to get it in there and get out. Put it down. Get the good colors going. You can tell I pick up a lot of different colors and I just throw it once it's wet. I Bring it down. There's his foot. There's the leg of the horse. And the bottom of his foot. So I'm just basically trying to go from the middle tone to the darks because the lights you just leave alone. Leave the lights alone. Now he's got metal on it, so metal will reflect all these other colors around him. So we're just going to put all the different kinds of colors into the metal. And I'm kind of painting the pieces because I'm just going slowly getting them done as with one brush stroke, I just get them done. All right, here you go with these. And make sure your drawing is good because that's what you have to really watch out for is your drawing when it comes to the the night because he is the center of interest. So you definitely want the drawing to be good. Make it look like a knight with armor on. Okay. Oh, right, right here. You don't work this tight right away, but since this is um, more of a kind of a still life of this horse and a rider, you have to get a little bit tighter than than your looseness that you normally that I normally do like on a landscape. I will try to do as large area as possible first, though. Here, got his leg. This leg over here. Hey, hey guys. 
you can see. We're doing a live YouTube right now. Yes. On, yep. Okay. So say hello to the world now. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Senate has to be clean now. <laughs> no, you don't have to be clean. <laughs> I'm talking to the TV as you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. I'm you can't talk to me. Oh, you can talk to me. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, you definitely can talk to me. <laughs> have you had any response? Any yeah, yeah. We've had, I think, I think there have been a couple sales already, too. That's good. It's a perfect giant. Yeah. Oh, you should say they can't get up. <laughs> it is a nice day. So first one, we'll see how it goes and this is a nice Yeah. I'm going to do some of the details. Not actually, not some of the details. I'm trying to get the bigger parts done. Um, and then I go in later and get more and more detail as I go along. The metal tones basically, and get some color in here. Here's his leg goes down. Leg goes up this way. Oh, oh. Okay. 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 Here. And I must say that um, when it comes to horses, that's one of my least favorite things is paint and draw. I have a hard time because, especially. With the horse's legs, I've always told I, all of my students know how much I how much I struggle at doing a horse's legs and how they how they angle when they're like trotting or running or you know, so I really have a hard time memorizing and trying to figure that out. But since it is already drawn for me, then I can you know, I can definitely trace what I see or um, copy what I see. But still, um, it's. It has to, the horse's legs just for some reason are tough to kind of figure out. Let's make this nice and dark. I'll get my smaller brush and go back into the, into the top part here. I'm going to wet his, wet his um, helmet first. And then I'm just going to put some nice colors in there. Again, it reflects its metal, so it's going to reflect every all the colors around it. That. And I can make hard edges, and I can also keep it rim lighting, but the rim lighting will be, if I don't get enough of it, I'll put it in later with white paint. Just start here. Again, darker. I try to get as dark in the first wash as I can, so I don't have to go back in for a second dark wash. Because at first dark wash is best when you can get it in with one brush stroke. And then the pigment settles in and just gives you that beautiful, beautiful wash, wet into wet wash. Hey, Lyle from Frostproof, Florida. <laughs> it's actually a beautiful day here today. It's actually really nice outside. It's a beautiful day to go out and come to an art art sale. All right, some more people coming in the door. That's good. This is a little bit more complicated here with his armor. So I want to get a lot of this to really look good. 
underneath this part, shoulder. And then maybe a little bit of blue to show metal. I'll make it a little bit blue in here, a little grayer. And there's a light, nice light here, so I'm going to try to really get that that look of the light shining right there. And then get this coming here. That's man, especially when you when there's something you don't draw very often. Like I've never I've never really drawn a night before, I don't think. So you know, I have to look at this, I have to look at the armor and actually try to figure this out a little bit too. It's like if I were doing a lot of this type of thing, then yeah, you can easily go in there and get it done fast. But when you have to look and kind of look at the picture, um, I tend to be a little bit slower. That happens, you know, the, the more you paint different things, you got to study it and figure it out. I always say, draw stuff that you love and, and know a lot about. Don't know much about um, knights and the armor, but if you have a good picture, then you can just copy that basically is what I'm doing. That's dark. Any questions, guys? Please let me know. I'll look up once in a while. Shine right here. Top of his arm, hopefully there's metal on top of his arm. Just a little bit darker. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Doing your thing, huh? Yep, yep, we're doing a little live YouTube. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. A little bit of a delay. <laughs> Watching paint up there, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> like about a minute delay. And also, I'm doing a little bit larger piece today, guys, online. And so, it's going to take me a little bit longer than I normally do. Normally, it takes me an hour, maybe take me a little bit longer than an hour. So I'm gonna make this really dark right here. This is the the main. Can make him nice and dark. Just make this harness. That's another thing. I don't know how the harness is going. The horse is a uh, again, you know, anytime you paint something, it, you know, learn about the object that you're painting. If you use harnesses and how they're put into the mouth and so they go over the nose, if you don't really know that, you really then have to figure it out through the photograph. And so it's really good to know your subject matter. Because if, the, if it doesn't show well, well in the photograph, then you can at least just make it up because you know what is right and wrong. The warmth, look at the nice warmth in the front of his snout right here, his nose. Put that in there. Sit here like this. Get all the darks. I'm, sh I'm shining right into the light with the, I have to keep some of this light. 
because I'm going to put it, leave it with the white of the paper. Is it the harness again? Down. And I guess you could pull, pull stuff out, like do a big wash and then pull stuff out afterwards. You can do that, which I'll do here a little bit. Alex to his ears. This closer up. Ear coming out in front of his forehead, his other ear. Here. It's like you're doing a portrait of a horse now here with the side of his nose. Let's get some nice color in there too. Let's get a little bit of blue in there. I know a lot of people are watching the Bears game. <laughs> We've got to figure out next time, maybe not do it on a Sunday when the Bears are playing or the football is playing because I know many football player or football fans love their Sunday game and sound right now. I know that. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of, this is a metal plate here. So let's work the metal plate. So let's get the middle tones of that now. Shadow yeah, metal and making it gray, grays and like blues. Give a little texture by going across the paper quickly. The harnesses have a little bit of the. See, if I make more of the metal blue, then it gives it. If I do one part blue, then the rest of it looks nice and like metal. So if you tend to do it one spot, then anything that's blue will look like metal then. These blues. On the side, anywhere there's metal, I'm just going to put a little blue and it'll give the, the look of metal. And then metal, of course, is shiny, so you can get the lightest light and darkest dark all in the same spot. So let's. Let's get some darks in here, and that mix is all going to be detail. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from the back to the front then again. But now I've got most of the big parts done. Most of the big parts, lights and darks, and so I'm going to be getting, going to be getting to the detail stage where I'm going into a lot of details. And you can keep this like listening to the show. And I'm using a lot of black on because I want it just to be really, really dark. And so I can put, I can put it down and then put color into the black too. Right. Now the horse, and now he was really dark, so let me just put that in there right now. This is actually a foot right here, his foot. Put that in there right away. But that goes all the way down here. Oops. Okay, this is probably AI not making it perfect because this seems really low for his foot. Well, I feel it's the same. Nostrils are neat on a, on a horse. It's like a, like a C, a little C here. The eye can be really dark. Yeah. 
All right, so let's go away from the horse now and let's go back to the background and get all the details. And when, one second, so I'll just get this really quickly. All right, so what I'm, what I'm talking about is this back here now. Let's just go in there with a small, with the small details. And so what I'm going to do is just do those little details back here. Hi, that's beautiful. Is that oh, like thanks. a Roman? Yeah, a little knight. Knight. A knight. And <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we're just doing a live YouTube. We're just putting on YouTube right now, so there's people watching. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. No, you can, you can say anything you want. <laughs> Amazing. So I normally do, I do, um, every Thursday I do a little classes like that on YouTube. Where I just every Thursday we have paint, it's called a paint along. Oh, and so I just, can... yeah, there's a card right there. Okay. Great. You can go to my YouTube, go to my YouTube channel. It's no, no, it's all free. And so every Thursday we do a paint along. And now this one I just did special for today. Right. But normally right. on Thursday. Will you be selling? Yeah. Yep. Sometime. So. <laughs> I've got a frame for it right back there. Mm -hmm. We're going to show them how to frame it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I'm just gonna lean over your shoulder. Sure, no problem. No, that's okay. I'm just doing the details now. I'm getting to the point where I did all the big parts. Now I'm getting to the details. So I work from the back to the front. And so I'm just do all this stuff in the back. Beautiful. Oh, thanks. Are you a painter? I am, oh, okay. um, and I don't do watercolor. <laughs> well, I've done some oils. I've done some um, acrylics. I just started with pastels, and I'm loving that. Okay. In blend of color. Um, just join us one. It's like I said, every Thursday we do a paint along, and you can just watch. Most people watch. They always do it right then because I go really fast. It takes one hour, beautiful. and then I usually get it done. And we've been doing it now for, man, since COVID started, we've been doing it every week, every Thursday. And if you look at my website, you'll see what we're painting that on Tuesday. I show everybody what we'll be painting on Thursday. So. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm, I painted for a little while, but I'm not. Not no. But, but, yeah. we, we've, we've got a lot of beginners. We've got a lot of beginners. Yeah. So you just. Now, you're not live right now, are you? Yep. Oh, you are. Okay. Yep. No, that's okay. That's, uh, that's okay. <laughs> They'll probably like to hear that. <laughs> No, you can chat. <laughs> they probably they they hear you what you're saying, but <laughs> let's see how many people. We only have nine people watching. Usually, we get about fifty or sixty yeah. on Thursday night. But All right. if you are willing to sell this, I don't know how much you would charge for something like that. Well, I'll, I'll look at when I think like the 125. Can I just give you my information and you can let me sure. know when it's done? Sure. Oh, well. It may not be good. You have to <laughs> we'll see it first. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you're local. Yeah, no, I'm local. I teach here every Thursday. Also here, I teach here on Thursday afternoon. Um, oh, because I take John's classes in the morning. Okay. Um, I haven't lately. Yeah, so in, on Thursday after his class, I, I'm here at, I mean, it starts at, at um, one o'clock. Goes from one to three, yeah. And it's watercolor that you teach? Yeah. Or? Yeah, we all painted the same thing that we'd be doing that night. And um, you know, so I'm, I, I have to tell you watercolor. I tried it <laughs> twice and I, Apparently, too much what? Too much color. So I less is more, but apparently I. Um, well, just come by one time. Come by one time at, at the class and just see how you like it. Okay. You just come by. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give you the. My name is Jacqueline. Okay. I will see you that you're live. Yeah. Um, but that's my phone number, my information. Yeah. And um, my dog and I volunteer as a therapy dog team. So. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Okay. And uh, yeah, let me know. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Now let's do our big over here. Get that done. So there's a like two windows over here. Put my glasses on so I can see something that I'm doing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I can see. The... So we're gonna go in here, do the background, get some of this background in there. Jack, <laughs> 
So I'm not sure if you heard, guys heard that, but I do also teach um, on Thursday here at the at the Civic Center. Every Thursday I do a class here. Um, for one class, not. <laughs> oh, there he is. Skilled Eight. enough. <laughs> but I did just sell two watercolors in Door County. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Not framed, just matted. Well, yeah, I was I was at the watercolor at the bank. Oh yeah, the yeah. Church talks about you're not putting glass now. You're doing the wax on. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Tried it and so that's very intriguing. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that to this one when I get done with it. I'll show everybody how to do that with putting just wax on. You just smear it on there, basically. Is all you do. You don't have to. You said to go to your YouTube or something to tell you. About yeah, I have a couple. I have a couple um, on YouTube. There's a couple. You know, subscribe, and then just type in wax, wax your, uh, wax your painting. Oh, okay. And then it'll come up with some of the ones I've done for that. Okay, I'm really curious about the same. Yeah. This is going here. The lines in here. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, So you can see I'm not going super, super tight, but I am going tight enough where you're seeing the big marks of the building. I can get more and more detailed as I go along. It all depends on how detailed you guys are want to make it. What do you see? Now some windows up here again. Well, dark's in here. Yeah, you can work fast as well. That's something. Yeah, I see you'd rather watch um, painting than football. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you can always catch um, the football again later. I usually watch the football like after just the replays. So that's all you have to see anyways is the replays. I can see that on Monday morning in the news, what everybody did. Yeah, basically, the details, see all the details I'm getting into, all these little things. And the more details I do back here, then I've got to get more into the actual. When it comes to the night, then I got to get too crazy with the night. So I'm not going to go too crazy with the background. So I don't have to do that with the night. I'm just going to get these. Oh, all the windows in there. Keeping it kind of loose, the background. You don't want the background too tight because the background, if the background is really tight, then the, the night has to I gotta be super, super tight. It all depends on how tight you are a painter. Now let's go back to the background and get some of this background stuff done here. Detail in here. Get some perspective going here. I mean, you could make it just like the photograph of the of the picture, but um, I just I just go in there and make it a lot looser than that. More of an impressionist, I guess you could say. What else you got here? You can put more in than that's in the photo. 
now let's get this this redness of his scarf on his tail or whatever that is. Get a little bit more detail in there. And now I'm missing some of the light that's coming off the back here, so I'm just going to go into white paint. Because I'm a watercolorist that doesn't mind using white paint. So I'm going to clean off my white here. You can see my white is pretty dirty with blue in it. I'm just going to rub it off, put it on my towel, get some really nice white here. And then I'm going to take my smaller brush, take in some pure white. Nope, oh, my brush is dirty. <laughs> take in some white and just start going in here, getting some of that bling happening. And so I'm just going to go in pretty thick. And I'm just going to go in here too, get some of the, on his meddling, metal, um, just going to go in there, little dots here and there. So this then shows all that little, little stuff. And metal is shiny, so you're going to get a lot of that bling happening. Oh, that's... And what else we got here? Also, you got to do the opposite of white. You got to just go pure black and get some, I like to call these dark highlights, where you take little small dark things that are like bling, but it's the opposite, just making really sharp lines of black and little details. It happens the same, both dark and light, black and white. So little dots here and there, little lines. And I just use solid black. I don't mix anything with it. Just go in and get those nice and dark. Here he's got these circles on his horse's armor, because that horse has got armor on too. Part of it, both theory what time is it now? All right, not too long, and we're gonna be done. I try to keep it as an hour. Here, get some of these people a little bit more, a little bit more detailed than they are in the photo, just so you can see like the legs and the. It's just gestured, and then I'm gonna do put the lines in there too, like flags hanging here and there. I think I'd be a little darker too over here. And bigger brush. We're getting close. We're getting close. Very close. It's done. And I'm going to put it into the frame right away. I'm going to show you guys how I put these pictures. I, 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 I will um, wax it and I will have a frame for it so it looks really neat right away. You're putting like fake heads and bodies over here just because it's, there's a bunch of people back there. <laughs> the lizard to make a dark red here, right up the back here. Just want that lizard. <laughs> All right, now my rigger brush. I'm going to go in here and put these little lines, telephone wires or whatever they are, lines across. There's even flags hanging off of them. A little red that's here. Lettering on these signs, which you don't really spell out, you just little lines there i will put little flags on some of these like their flags hanging across the street
doorways here type of thing. Well, again, with the lights, with the white, with the white all over for rim lighting. Like around this guy's head, there's a little rim lighting. There's somebody back here. Just pure white, just taken. And I, I could have put masking fluid in the beginning, but decided not to, just because you can do it afterwards with white paint. Little hits of people back here and it looks like rim lighting. It that's what it's made to be looking like rim, like rim lighting. This boot is a little bit too bright here, so I'm gonna turn it down with a little bit of red warmth. That's right here for the metal, tininess of metal. All right, I think we're getting close to done, guys. Let me just show you the, um, I'll show you the frame and put it in. And then we'll have it done. A little bit darker over here. Let me stand back for a second. Let's look at the distance. A little dark right here. All right, let me show you what it looks like in the frame. This aside here for a second. Pale it away. It's a nice frame and boom, all done. <laughs> and I think I'll have to do is sign it and then it's done. Well, I actually first, yeah, I got to sign it and then I got to, I've got to wax it. I should wax it first before you put in the frame, but uh, I just want to show you. I'm going to have, I'm going to take white and um, white and white and a little bit of red. I'm going to sign it right. Hmm, which side is better? I'm going to sign it this side. And then I also have a stamp. I can find it. <laughs> I'm trying to buy them on my box, but I usually have a stamp and I also stamp it. But what I can do is I can make, I can fake the stamp. It's, my stamp is a DRB. D R B. A little stamp I usually have, but I can just do that. All right, guys, any last questions? That's about it, guys. I think I like it. <laughs> a little different. I normally don't do um, night scenes, but different. It's a nocturne. It's a nocturne, yes, it's a nocturne scene. <laughs> That's really funny because when I first said I, I'm going to do a night scene, I'm like, oh, wait, it's a nocturne. <laughs> Nocturnal. <laughs> All right. Any last questions, guys? If not, I'm going to shut you guys off and I'm going to go sell. I'm going to go sell all my work. <laughs>
thanks guys for watching and we'll talk to you next thursday well, where is my mouse <laughs> where's my cursor i was over there man damn it. <laughs> Keep my cursor on this computer. <laughs>